me again. Things are getting fun. So uh, I'm going to go through the steps. I'm going to talk them through in sections in, the, in this video. Um, and then I'm going to show certain parts of it, like the old age application, in other sections. But if we look at the steps that I have here, it says block out eyebrows and hairline. So I've blocked out the eyebrows. I've blocked out the hairline. I'm sculpting. I've sculpted the face. So we can see I've sculpted the cheeks. I've sculpted the eye bags, the nasal labial fold, the planes of the nose, and uh, worked in the jawline. I've also given myself a, 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 um, a nose and scar wax nose so that I can do this broken nose um, as part of the makeup. So I've given myself a nose and scar wax nose. I've sculpted all the areas. I've taken it down the neck. We don't want it to be a mask, so I've taken it down the neck into the integration of this. Temple fossa, temple fossa, infratemporal fossa, the nasal labial folds, the eye bags, all those areas are sculpted. The area in my forehead where there's the crease, and that's before I put on the base. So all of that sculpting has been done um, in through this. So that's pretty much part one of old age. Okay, so now I need to get ready for the latex application. So what I need is I need a container that I can put my latex in. The liquid latex comes in a little jar like this with a small little brush. If I was going to try to do this with this small little brush, I would never get anything done. So you want to transfer it to a, a larger dish, like the, the lid of a, um, a, like a Ziploc plastic container is perfect. This is uh, the circular lid to one of my um, aquacolor, large aquacolor palettes. And then I pour the latex in and I'm using a sponge for application. Now, when I do this, uh, when you do it with a partner, you stretch the face and they do the application as uh, they blow dry in between. You want three to five coats of each area. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that when you're doing the area of the cheek that you don't connect the mouth area to the cheek because it'll create this little bubble. You don't want that bubble. So you're going to have to have some separation between the cheek area and the mouth area. So normally you do that and then put it on. I'm going to just manipulate my face like this as I do each area. When I do the mouth, I'm going to stretch my mouth like that and I'm going to do that. If I do the forehead, I would stretch out the forehead. I can kind of do that with my eyes, and then I'm going to put it up, up the latex across the top there. But you deal with one, two, three, four different areas. Um, and in between areas, you just stipple a little bit of the, the latex so that it looks a little bit more uniform in terms of its application. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cheek. I'm going to manipulate my, now I'm going to have to do this while I'm blow drying, and it's going to have to be multiple la layers, and I can't really talk while I'm doing it. So I just want to explain. I'm going to stretch my cheek off to the side, and then I'm going to apply this, okay? So here we go, and I'm not going to be able to talk for a while, and you're going to hear some blow drying and whatnot, but you can watch a little bit of this as we go, okay? And here we go. So as you can see, the wrinkles that are coming up on the face are, are, are staying there. The latex, I powdered it before I allowed it to stretch. But you can see, oh, look at all those great wrinkles, all those wrinkles that are happening. Now, this latex is also going to dry a little bit more, but, but the under sculpting is showing through. It's just really good texture to the wrinkling that is being done. Oh, look at those crow's feet. It's just delightful. So these are all really, really good things. 
and I'm going to continue to do the work. And uh, I've got to go to a meeting right now. So I will be there with you guys shortly. Okay. Okay. Now we're going into the next part of the latex application. I've done both cheeks with the latex. So as you can see, the wrinkles in my face are accentuated by this. And the application from side to side is a little different um, in terms of this. The second side that I did, this side that I did, it uh, I was not, you know, I was paying more attention to what I was doing and I wasn't lecturing at the same time or on camera. And, and the, the wrinkles are showing much larger than this side. Um, there's some subtleties to this that I really like. But you'll find that the application is, is often different in each one. Now, I've stippled some latex into the area on this nose. I've done the actual uh, scarring of the nose. And I've stippled a little bit of latex into the eye bag area here just to kind of make it look a little bit more consistent. The next area I'm doing is the mouth. So I'm going to stretch my mouth like that and apply the latex. And then I'm going to do three to five applications three for this lecture, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and dry it with the blow dryer. With the blow dryer, you want one with the cool setting because it does get hot. I like to kind of vary it between hot and cold so that I can go in and do this so that I am able to um, really, the hot is drying it out really well. The cool setting will, will work nicely uh, just so that you don't burn yourself. Um, so I'm going to go in and, and I'm going to do that. I paid a bit more attention to the application on the upper lip as you can see some of this area is clumping a little bit but this is getting me some nice wrinkles in this area here off of the mouth and I'm gonna wait for this to dry but a lot of this is also going to be covered up when I do the crepe hair application um, the crepe hair application that I will be doing so this is part two with the both cheeks the mouth and now I'm gonna do the forehead in the next application okay Okay, so next part of the latex. I've done the cheeks, I've done the mouth. I always paid, paid special attention not to connect the latex cheek with the mouth. You don't want the two of them to connect together because what that'll do is when you talk, it'll create these little puff, little air pockets, um, and uh, the flex points will, um, will, will, it just won't look right. So now I'm going to work on the forehead. And so what you normally do with the want to stretch the forehead as possible. What I'm going to try to do instead of wrinkling up is bring it down, just kind of stretch my uh, eyebrows down, and then I'm going to put the latex uh, across that area. Um, just like everything else, the blow drying time and whatnot, three to four applications. And so I'm not going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'm going to uh, go into the next step of advanced old age, and I can show you the results. But I'm going to go ahead in here with my forehead as relaxed as possible. And I'm going to get my mirror over here so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put it across the sculpting area that I've done. And this will also, with the area on the forehead that I've uh, covered with the nose and scar wax and the, um, the soap scum and everything, this is something that will allow it to seal a little bit more that over that area so i also want to make sure that it doesn't clump up like i did on my mouth area so as i'm going through this i, I want to make sure that those areas aren't clumping okay so i've gone ahead with this i'm keeping my uh forehead as relaxed as possible i'm going to do three applications 
with that on the forehead. Normally I would pull the skin if I was working with a partner, but right now I'm bringing my eyebrows down, kind of keeping it as relaxed as possible, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the application. So instead of listening to the blow dryer, I am going to end this video. Okay, hi. This is the almost final product. I'm not as happy about the way that I cut this. I did put the hair in um, where the hairline ends with the bald cap. Um, and uh, I did do the eyebrows a little bit. I did do some blood on the broken nose. I accented the, the cut a little bit, um, but I would have liked to have spent a little bit more time with this, but I have to get home for dinner. So um, my hope is, is that this is all gonna help you guys with the products that you need. Just need to clean this up a little bit, but uh, it is what it is, but this should get you started on your applications. Um, if you have questions, send them my way and uh, we'll keep moving forward. Thanks a lot.